I'm Julia O'Malley. I'm a freelance writer based in Anchorage, Alaska. Over the summer, uh, New York-based photographer Katie Orlinski and I worked on a project that explored the issue of uh, Alaska Native subsistence foods and climate change. Subsistence in Alaska is an economic model. A lot of our smaller villages where people are living a traditional way of life um, survive because people are able to supplement their incomes with subsistence foods and this could be anything from marine mammals to caribou to fish and what we found when we traveled in the villages and started talking to people is that there's a broad spectrum of ways that the changing climate is beginning to um, really impact food sources. Um, one of the places that we traveled to was Kotzebue and we looked at a uh, bearded seal which is a traditional food source and one of the biggest sources of protein in the village. Um, and what's happening is that the season for hunting bearded seal has become increasingly shorter to the point where this year was the shortest season and also the hottest year in Alaska on record. Um, and the seal come in on the ice um, and uh, they have to be hunted on the ice because that's how they are best seen. And this year there were only two days to do that. And so people were not able to get the protein that they usually get from the bearded seal. We also visited the whaling community of Point Hope, um, which is one of the longest inhabited communities in North America. And um, there, whale makes up a big portion of people's diet, and it's also really culturally significant. Community comes together um, around whaling. Young men are mentored uh, by older men in the ways of whaling. Similarly, women in all of the food preparation that happens after the, the villagers take a whale. The quality of the sea ice has become so uh, degraded as sea temperatures have warmed that villagers are having a harder time pulling the whale onto the ice and so there's actually it's like a safety issue. Um, and whale, because it's so much meat, is usually stored in an underground ice cellar um, which is dug into the permafrost. Unfortunately, because of the warming soil temperatures, the ice cellars are beginning to melt and fill with water, and that uh, spoils the meat. The elders will say they can taste the warm temperatures outside in the meat. Um, so that's another way that climate change is affecting food security in Alaska villages. Food in villages, it's important to note, is, you know, I don't know, 50% more expensive than food outside. So that's, and the economies, you know, people are just not holding full-time jobs, people are not making as much money, so it would be impossible for to sustain village life without subsistence foods. So that's one of the reasons that climate change is such a, a serious concern. Villages are an important place um, where language and culture for Alaska Native communities is preserved. There's little that the government can do in a lot of cases, but um, on St. Lawrence Island and the Bering Sea, the communities of Savunga and Gamble were so affected because ice quality made it impossible for them to hunt walrus that um, they were act there was an de emergency declared and um, the government did in fact send supplemental food there.